hey y'all, this is your K-pop Auntie Carly, and don't worry, Doc does have a head. He He's sleeping peacefully. All right, it is uh, Request Friday, and I am checking out kind of non-discography discography, if that makes sense. As always, Fridays are I've been doing generally uh, covers solo stuff um from mixtapes and all that good stuff and we are uh, doing now the what has been requested multiple times a bts's a version of come back home all right let's check this out i think this is the version that was requested it's a version of a song by uh so siotaji and i do know that siotaji and the boys i do know that's like pretty much the first um the first k-pop group ever for the most part who really put k-pop on the band on the band on the map whatever oh my god sometimes <laughs> oh oh 25 year anniversary concert is um i'm gonna see if i can find that one let me skip out of this video real quick and see if i can find the 25 year anniversary one hang on i have it <laughs> so this is Seo Teji featuring BTS. My dogs have entered the room. All right. This is going to be fun because I did check out um, Seo Teji and the boys. And I haven't done any um, first generation K-pop videos in a while because I'm so busy right now just trying to keep up with everything. But these guys are one of the ones that I did check out. And, dude, I was a little bit impressed. I, I would have listened to these guys in the 90s. Like, they were... They're pretty good. All right, where's my music at? Volume looks good. Where's my cursor? There it is. Yeah, like this is definite 90s sound. With just kind of that. <laughs> Very nasally tone. I was <laughs> Sugar, wasn't it? I was trying to the the video is a little bit grainy. I was trying to make out who it was with him. It looks like uh, Jungkook and Suga. Is that right? I'm just smiling because it had to be so cool, even for BTS to, yeah, do this. And it was a long time ago, too, considering, I mean, 2017. Where are you going, buddy? Um, you know, BTS was definitely on their way, but it was still early days for them. So I can imagine that meeting Seo Teji now would still be pretty cool for them because they probably grew up on them. But, uh, especially in 2017 to be invited to perform with them, that had to have been awesome. So awesome for them. Yeah, I can hear BTS. Get it. More members incoming. <laughs> Who's 
beatbox it. <laughs> and the crowd's loving it. I'm loving it, man. It's <laughs> oh, this is so old school. <laughs> the dance and everything, man. The choreo just... cool there's more it's just okay it's just kind of thank you for visiting all that good stuff oh that was yeah that was really fun i really enjoyed that oh just like the just the sound is it totally brings me back to high school not gonna not gonna joke around that is the um that's the sound of me uh, bumping down the road 16 16 years old in my first car with my hand out the window man that's what it sounded like that's <laughs> oh that was fantastic thank you for the uh, recommendation i put a huge smile on my face as did my cat he's nice all right oh uh, keep the recommendations uh coming i will i'm gonna try to get to all of them it's gonna take a while they have a huge discography for one and when you start throwing in stuff like this and solo performances and co and covers, it's just ridiculous how much content they have. Especially since, I mean, they're dropping a new album this year, aren't they? Aren't they? Okay. All right. I have to get back to work. Uh, I'm going to sweep the house. I don't have a single rug in my whole house or carpet, so I'm going to go sweep. Okay. Have yourselves a... Have, have a good day.